Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to sign up and upload your first design to the T Public print on demand platform. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified each time I release a new tutorial. T Public is another popular print on demand platform similar to Teespring or Redbubble. On T Public, you can add your designs to tons of different products, including adult apparel such as t shirts, hoodies, and sweatshirts kids apparel such as kids shirts and onesies, masks, and tons of other products. So let's go through the process to create your Tee Public account and upload your first design. To get started, let's look up at the top menu here and click on the Sign Up tab. This should open up a page where you can create your Tee Public account. You can sign up by either using Facebook or by filling in your information. I think I'll sign up using my name and email. Once you've filled in your name, email, and created a password, go ahead and click on Create My Account. A verification email will then be sent to the email address you signed up with. Go ahead and head over to your inbox, open up the email, then click on the blue Activate Now button. And voila, your email should now be verified. You should now be able to log in using your new account information. So let's look at the menu at the top right, hover over the Log In tab, then click on the login link here. Go ahead and log in with your TeePublic account email and password. You should then see a message that says signed in successfully. Now that you've created your account and signed in, let's upload your first design. If you look at the menu at the top right, you should now see a My Account tab. When you hover over your account menu, you should see a box pop up with the blue Upload Design button. Go ahead and click that now. So the first thing it's going to ask you to do is to create a store name. The name you select will also be used in your store URL. Go ahead and type in your store name now. Once you're finished, you can click on the blue Take Me to the Uploader button. So here's where you can upload your first design. Make sure your design is in PNG format with a transparent background, 150 dpi, with a minimum pixel size of 1500 by 1995 pixels. So once you're ready, you can drag your file over to the image here or click the image to upload your design from your computer. It may take a few seconds for your design to upload. If you're looking for a quick and easy way to create designs for your products, make sure you check out Canva Pro. With Canva Pro, you can access tons of t-shirt design templates that you can use for your designs. When you sign up using the link in the video description, not only will you get access to the t-shirt design templates, but also tons of royalty-free images that you can use for your designs, professional text templates, and even the background remover tool that allows you to remove the background from any image. With Canva Pro, you can easily make your image larger and download your design with a transparent background. Canva Pro is a must-have for print-on-demand sellers. To try Canva Pro free for 30 days, make sure you click the link in the video description. So once your design finishes uploading, it should appear in the box here. Now that we've added our design, let's scroll down and edit our products. Certain products on TeePublic require a pixel size of over 5000, so we can see a message here highlighted in yellow that I won't be able to add my design to any large wall art. I wasn't planning to sell any wall art anyway, so let's continue to scroll down. Here's where you can add your design title, your description, your main tag or your main keyword, and your supporting tags or supporting keywords. When selecting your supporting keywords, it will actually give you options you can select from based on the information you've already entered. Go ahead and add all the supporting tags that are related to your design. You'll then need to select whether or not your design contains mature content. I'm gonna select no, then we can scroll down and edit our products. So here's where you can edit all of your T Public products. On the left of the screen, we have our product mockup where we can edit our design. On the right of the screen, we have our toolbox, which has three different columns. The first column shows our product type. The second column allows us to enable or disable the product. And the third column allows us to select a default color for each product. When you click on a product, you can select to print your design on the front, the back, or the front and the back. I think I'll just stick with the print on front option. Using the tools at the bottom here, you can easily scale or center your design on the product. You can also rearrange your design by simply clicking and dragging the image. If we look at the second column in our toolbox here, we can enable or disable any product that we wish. In the third column, 
go ahead and select the default color for each product. Once you're finished, go ahead and scroll down to the next section. Here's where you can select all the different product colors that you want to make available for this design. If your design works well with all colors, go ahead and select all. You can still click to manually remove any colors that you don't want to include. If your design is black or a darker color, you want to use a light colored background. Simply click light to select all the light colors. If you have a white or light colored design, you want to select the dark backgrounds. You can also select none to deselect all the colors and then manually select the colors you want to add. If we scroll down, you can also configure other products to sell on TeePublic. Simply click the image to edit the product, or you can enable or disable the product using the button below. Once you're finished editing your products, you can click here to agree to the terms and conditions. Then we can go ahead and click on the big green publish button. And voila, you've just published your first design to TeePublic. Customers can now go to your page, browse your products, and make a purchase. So that's a quick overview of how to upload your first design to the TeePublic print-on-demand platform. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.